The problem with John uh, during the final stages, like all of them passed the, like all of them went through the final stages. All of them went through the final stages. So nobody got behind on the technical screening or like everybody, everybody was reviewed. So everybody is good. Now, let me tell you a story. This is, listen, this is going to be so good. Let me tell you a story. Um, let me give you like an example, an actual example. Um, and fair warning, all of the people, all of the names they made up, they're not real people. I made them up, but the scenarios are quite real. So let's say, imagine we have four people, four software engineers. I don't know, like pick your specialty, right? Like let's say I was developers or front end developers. We have four people. We have John, we have Olivia, we have uh, Latoya, and we have Marcus, four people. Spoiler alert, Latoya got a job. However, all, all four of them, they're genius. They're absolutely genius. So let's start with John. John, John is a John is a genius at what he does. He's really, really good at what he does. Uh, he he can solve any problem when it comes to technical capacity. Uh, good engineer, like people, like he's dependable. People. People depend on his expertise at his previous companies. Like he just killed it. Like when it comes to technical and domain specific knowledge, like he is absolutely excellent. The problem with John uh, during the final stages, like all of them passed the, like all of them went through the final stages. All of them went through the final stages. So nobody got behind on the technical screening or like everybody, everybody was reviewed. So everybody is good. But the problem with John, he kind of exhale at when, um, and when I say exhale, he kind of relax and he, uh, after his technical portion he thought that his interview was done he got it because he was he's a he's a he knows that he's genius but the problem with john he couldn't connect with a lot of people on the deep um emotional level so yes people like his technical abilities people like his technical staff but it it was not just it wasn't just simply enough it was not just simply enough. And like he could have done better with the product. He could have done better with the hiring manager as well. So um, it happens a lot. It happens more than more than you think. So let's talk about Olivia. I love Olivia. Listen, Olivia is a sweetheart. She has a uh, LinkedIn. She has a uh, resume and like she posts time to time like she like she's good and uh, like she like she she can be really like she can be really a spark in all uh, in every a, any any team so but the problem with olivia uh she she couldn't deliver and communicate her value what value she brings to the company she was okay with her technical stuff but the value that she will provide, she couldn't really, she could, she couldn't really articulate that correctly, and because she's a little, she's a little humble and she's a little shy, uh, and she doesn't think, she doesn't think that she is shy, but she wanted to be like as professional as possible, and she kind of wanted to, um, like she, she, she wanted to put her best foot, foot forward, but. Again, when it comes to her achievements and value communication, like alleviate like didn't get a chance to like or like she got a chance but she didn't communicate her value correctly but she's a sweetheart listen uh if um if latoya wasn't there probably olivia could have maybe potentially got a job but uh before we jump to latoya let's talk about marcus listen marcus is too like i i, I don't really like marcus I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really like Marcus. Uh, Marcus is that guy who knows it all, uh, super confident, overly confident. Um, he's kind of like, he's like, he's kind of obnoxious in a way. So if like, if in the past Marcus got hired because um, they needed somebody ASAP and clearly he can do the job, but Marcus is an asshole. 
let's let's be just honest like he's overly confident like he talks down to people even when he doesn't notice that and he doesn't mean that but marcus kind of grew up in that tech environment in that culture where you have to be this way at his previous companies this is what helped marcus to kind of kind of stand out but not in a good way so and even though like he knocked it out of the park technically uh and uh he kind of showed his value like what value he can bring to the like to the company he is because he was overly confident because he was too cocky team decided not to move forward with him and also he kind of talked down to more junior uh interviewers and kind of disregarded their questions not directly but like they felt it so not not a good thing not a good thing and i've seen it i've seen it during interviews like i've seen it myself but let's talk about latoya why latoya got a job Everybody is good. Well, Marcus could probably be a little bit more humble or like a little bit more relatable. But why Latoya got a job? Uh, is Latoya better technically than John? Uh, not necessarily. Like, I think they're like they're both good, but she doesn't have that level of genius when it comes to software development. But she's good. She's good. Her technical abilities are excellent. They're, she's good. <laughs> All of them can do the job. But here's the thing. Latoya was very proactive. She did the research on the company. She made sure that she communicates her value. Latoya also, uh, it's neither confirmed nor denied, but a few team members of the hiring team were binge watching the Latoya's YouTube channel where she talks about what she does. So... Again, neither confirm nor deny, but people ask her about her content, what she does, and like what she shares, and she has very unique perspective on what she does, and um, that was like that was just a cherry on top. But uh, she was very proactive. She uh, she connected with everybody. She uh, communicated her value. Her LinkedIn is on point. Uh, her resume is absolutely on point and she communicated her uh like her um achievements and she has a very 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 strong executive presence she got hired so why i'm telling you that i'm telling you that i'm telling you that you can't just rely on the link code as your main source of preparation you can't do that because interview is a complex and complicated process, multifaceted. Like it's it's not it's not just a technical screening and technical questions, and then you get hired. Not not, not typically, not typically. So uh, let me know in the comments if you have like any questions. If like if I can uh, also like uh, and this is an important topic. So drop me drop me your questions in the chat and also let me know if it was helpful. Um, if you need, as I said before, if you need help with that, I invite you to enroll in my coaching program, and you can grab like complimentary mini coaching session with me either through the link in my bio or send me a DM and ask about mini coaching sessions. So wh whichever way works for you. And um, this is the, like, this is a very, very good step for you to de decide what is your next step? Where are you going after that? Where are you, what, what, what is missing and how you can close that, how you can close that gap between where are you heading and where are you now?